While we may not know much about Yoda's origins, it is the things that we do know that make this character a universally loved one. Ever since we first saw him, we were captivated by the great Jedi warrior, and we learned, just like Luke did, that size matters not. In this video, we embark on a journey and learn 7 interesting facts about Yoda that you probably did not know. Did you know that almost every council member that we see in the prequels was at some point in their lives trained by Master Yoda? During his life serving the Jedi Order, it had been said that Yoda trained more than 20,000 Jedi altogether. The most notable ones that we see in the council were Kit Fisto, Mace Windu, Ki Adi Mundi, Opo Rancisis, and Obi Wan Kenobi. If put together, it is clear that more than half of the Jedi Council were at one point trained by Master Yoda. There is a species on Earth that was named after Yoda. Its full name is Yoda Purpurata. It is an ocean-dwelling acorn worm that was named after the Jedi Master because the scientist who named it realized its floppy appendages reminded them of Yoda's ears. Yoda was almost played by a monkey with a cane. George Lucas had imagined him that way, as well as bringing the personal trainer of the monkey on set to assist them during scenes, but Lucas wanted the monkey to wear a mask as well. Needless to say, it never panned out, and I think it was for the best. Yoda was almost a blue creature with a hat. The original concepts show Yoda as a smiling blue creature with pointy feet, a weird lengthy cane, and a silly hat. In the Empire Strikes Back novelization, as well as the Marvel Comics adaptation of the movie, Yoda is shown as a blue Jedi Master. Whether this was a mistake by the authors or done according to the early adaptation of Yoda by George Lucas has never been confirmed. Originally, Yoda was supposed to appear only once. George Lucas intended for Yoda to appear only in Empire Strikes Back, complete Luke's training and then disappear forever, never to be seen again. What changed his mind was a psychologist who suggested that Yoda should be included in Return of the Jedi in order to affirm to the audience that Darth Vader really is Luke's father and not a lie told by Darth Vader in order to seduce Luke to the dark side. Yoda's name was supposed to be Buffy at first. That is how George Lucas originally named him until the Empire Strikes Back screenwriter Lay Brackett changed the name to Minch Yoda in his first draft. That was the end of Buffy, and after they decided to drop the name Minch as well, that is how the Green Jedi Master became simply known as Yoda. Yoda is as handsome as his makeup artist and as smart as the world's greatest scientist. When the late Stuart Freeborn was tasked with creating Yoda, he based his own appearance in creating the character while adding some Albert Einstein as well in order for the appearance of Master Yoda to look wise just as the character was described to him. Alright guys, that is it for today, thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe if you haven't already and don't miss out on any of my future videos that I will post on this channel. Have a fun day and in closing, don't forget, may the force be with you, always.